Hi, my name is David Williams and I work for Juniper Education Services and our learning by today is going to be on real-time performance monitoring. Uh, we'll walk you through the steps to configure it, show you some sample output, and then we'll go ahead and configure our own test uh, on the device and show you the results. So we'll talk a little bit about what RPM is. Okay, what does it allow you to do? RPM, uh, real-time performance monitoring, allows you to configure the devices to monitor network performance and SLAs using real-time performance monitoring. The network performance is based on a packet response time, jitter, and packet loss. As you can see, when we set this up, uh, our tests can be uh, used with HTTP, ICMP, or TCP and UDP. Statistics are gathered by sending out probes to a specified probe target or URL. So some testing considerations. Um, as part of the configuration, of course, um, configuring the source and target that will receive the probe. So source of the probe and then uh, receiver. If you configure the probe for TCP uh, or UDP, there's an additional step. You'll have to uh, have the remote device configured as an RPM receiver. The test represents a collection of probes sent out at regular intervals, which you will be configuring, and also um, the configured seconds. And if the test exceeds any configured threshold, a syslog message is sent as well as any configured SNMP traps. Note the probe results are also available in the form of MIB objects. To break that down, uh, what you'll do is you will um, configure how your values will be gathered, either through HTTP GET requests, ICMPs, TCP, and UDP. Uh, the statistics are gathered by sending out the probes to a specified probe target identified by an IP address or URL. When the target receives the probe, it generates responses which are received by the device. You can then analyze the transit times to and from the remote server, and the device can determine the network performance statistics. Some things, uh, these are just generic things uh, that you'll be configuring. Um, the probe interval, test interval, uh, threshold values and optionally uh, any SNMP traps. Uh, each probe target is monitored over the course of what's called a test. Okay, and like most things in Junos, you'll give your test a name and also your probe a name. Uh, the test itself represents a collection of probes that are sent out at regular intervals. Statistics are then returned for each test. And because a test is a con uh, collection of probes, that have been monitored over some amount of time, uh, the statistics that you can derive are things like uh, deviation and jitter, um, and these are included with the average probe statistics for the test. Within the test, the probes are sent at regular intervals configured in seconds, and when the total number of probes have been sent and the corresponding responses received, then the test is complete. You can manually set the probe interval for each test to control how the RPM test is conducted. After all the probes for a particular test have been sent, then the test begins again. The time between the tests is defined as the test interval, and you can, of course, manually set the test interval to tune RPM performance. With all of that information, um, let's go ahead and configure a sample RPM test. Okay, so our objective here, we're going to use RPM probes to measure performance between devices. 
As we said, uh, we can use several different probe types. We're, in this example, going to be using ICMP ping. We want to uh, set the probe count to be four, and we want to send out probes every five seconds. Our test interval will be configured as 300 seconds. And of course, as part of our configuration, we have to configure the source and target address. All right, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at the syntax uh, on the slides first, and then we'll go ahead and configure our test on the device. This is what our configuration will look like end-to-end. Uh, -end. Uh, we are under the Edit Services RPM hierarchy, and as you can see, we've named our probe Probe 1, and uh, the name of our test is called Test 1. Okay, so we park ourselves under that hierarchy. Next thing is to set the probe type, which will be ICMP ping. We set the target address of the probes. We define the probe count and probe interval, and then the end-to-end -end test interval. And uh, optionally, we'll set the source address as well. Okay, so the output below uh, at the bottom shows the configured syntax. Let's go ahead and verify uh, the results, and uh, this is not easy uh, to look at here on the slide. Uh, we'll just go through the two commands, and then we'll analyze this uh, when we look at the real test output. So command number one, and again, we're running this command on the device that we have just configured, okay, not the target device. So um, syntax for command number one, show services RPM probe results. Okay. The next one, um, show services RPM history results. And again, um, this is pretty hard to go through uh, on the slide. We'll, we'll take a look at these two commands when we perform the actual test. Okay, so let's go ahead and configure this um, as shown. So I think uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and park ourselves uh, under Edit Services. Uh, this is RPM. And then um, as part of this, we'll define our probe. Okay, so the name of our probe, to keep it simple, we'll call it Probe 1. And the same thing with our test. Okay, so we'll define this as Test 1. Okay. Once we're under the test hierarchy, then we can go ahead and let's uh, see what we can do. So our options here, if we do a question mark, this is where we would go in and configure all of our different parameters. Okay, As you can see, uh, one of the things is the defining the probe type. Okay, So let's take a look at that in a little bit of detail. So we'll do our little question mark. Okay, So this is where we can go in uh, and take a look at configuring uh, what type of probe, uh, as we mentioned. All right, so in our case example, we wanted to do uh, ICMP ping. All right, so let's go ahead and configure that. All right, now um, the next thing is where are our probes going to go? All right, so we'll go ahead and put in a target address. All right. Now, uh, we said that we wanted to send out a probe count. Okay, how many probes per test? So we said the value there was four. Okay, so our probe count, value of four. And then uh, the interval. Okay, so set probe interval. Okay, and we'll show you this, these values that we're setting in here. The interval, for example, is in seconds. And we'll, again, show you that when we show you the, uh, the test output. Then um, we want to be able to define the delay between each test. All right. Again, this is in seconds, so set uh, test interval uh, 300 seconds, okay, or five minutes okay, between each test. And uh, then, lastly, uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set the source address. So let's go ahead and commit. All right, and then as this is committing, uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and verify our probe results. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and do a show here. OK, 
Okay, so this is what we have. Looking good. So the next thing is uh, we want to do a show uh, services, RPM, probe results. Boom. Okay, all sorts of goodies here. Uh, the thing to note here is that you can see that it's broken out into uh, probe results, uh, results over the current test, results over the last test, and then results over all tests. All right. So this is where you can, at a glance, see your testing parameters, what you've set it up, how often it's running, etc. And of course, we said four samples, which you can see here. If you want to see um, kind of a, a more terse output, um, the best way to do this is to do a run show services RPM history results. Okay, a little bit cleaner. <laughs> and uh, here we can see the defined probe and test. We mentioned that we wanted to set our intervals here, uh, the time between probes. So uh, as you can see, as we look here, we set this to five seconds. Okay, and you can verify this here. And then um, you can also take a look at the variations, for example, in this case, in round trip time uh, between each probe. All right. So what I encourage you to do is to, because this is so simple to set up, uh, go ahead and try some different probes. Uh, you can set this, send these through layer two networks. You can send them between devices and layer three networks or what have you and um, test it out. Okay, uh, this is all for the RPM uh, example. Thank you. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.